You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Take line, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This place is total chaos when it comes to mixed martial arts, and we expect a lot of volume in this arena tonight, Jim. It's crazy to take in this environment. The crowd is going crazy. The fighters are drawing inspiration from them. It's a big moment for every Brazilian fighter that hits the group. They are... All right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure... Oh, watch Guillotine here. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Watch out for the choke. Oh, under the chin here. Could be the end. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Lands the grounded pound strike here. I need you to get the chin. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Oh, nice. Nice. That's a pretty good jab. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, blood is dripping from his leg. Caught the kick. Leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Shoots for a takedown here. Nearly got the fight to the ground, but once again, the takedown defense holds up. But he knows this. He knows that in order to finally get the fight to the ground, he has to be patient, and he's going to have to be committed. If he thought that he would get every takedown he shot, he would not find the success that he intends to get. Straight punch is true. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Solid punch by him there. He's got some hands, man. And now some separation. Got strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Slips the punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right. Round two next. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. All right, big moment in that round, of course, the strike that caused the cut to the lip. Certainly, it's not shades of Robbie Lawler nor Alistair Overeem, but the cut does bear watching as we move forward. And it still hurts. I mean, it still hurts. Every, I mean, honestly, everything hurts in the octagon, and that shot looked like it hurt a ton. But what the story will be is that it opened up that cut on the lip. How does he avoid taking Ready too fight. much damage back to that spot? He's got to move his head off that center line as he's moving forward. And there's only so much a cut man can do to stop bleeding in the mouth area, so we will continue to monitor that cut as this fight presses forward. Nice. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of Oh, man, that could be going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. <laughs> 